Hello everyone, um, so I haven't done um, a video for quite a while now and so I thought I would do one um, today um, and today's video is actually going to be just a video about um, shoes today, just a few shoes that I have. Um, I've got these over a few years actually I guess. Um, this isn't my whole collection of shoes, these are just a few. I don't have many more but there are a few more that I do have which are not going to be in this video so I'm just going to start with um, these shoes here and these are like, I'm not even sure what these ones are called, I think these ones are criminal damage shoes. Um, and if you just look, it looks like um, it's got teeth at the front and it looks like a zombie shoe. And then it's got like the glittery pink part here. And these are quite a lightweight shoe. Um, these were sort of a random buy because they were on sale at the time when I got these last year. I've never really worn them that much. They're not that comfortable to be honest. Um, they are quite cute though, these are quite punkish um, and they were quite expensive full price so I would not pay what the price was for these um, but they are quite nice because they are a lightweight shoe um, and obviously See, it's got an eye on the back, they're really different, so that's what I liked about these ones, I think. Um, okay, my next pair of shoes is a shoe that every girl should have or will have. And these are just some black, plain shoes, flat ones. Um, obviously, these... These are ones of leather and these ones will go with anything, they're good for the summer, good for really any time because they're comfortable, they're just sort of casual flats um, and they're really good. Just It's just nice to have these because they'll go with anything and if you just feel the one wear slip-ons they're really nice for that. Okay my next pair of shoes. Um, is a shoe that I also got, I think this was either last year or the year before, it might have been last year, I can't really remember. But these ones I also got when they were on sale. And if you look, they've got like little triangles, they're really cute. I like these because they're really different, they've sort of got like a little bit of a wedge on the back. And then they've got an open toe at the front and laces, and these are my red or dead shoes I wouldn't I don't know whether to class these ones as sandals or not because they are kind of like sandals but a bit more closed um and I really like these because I just saw them and I thought they looked really cool and they go with a lot of things as well um I tend to wear these in the summertime with um dresses but you can also wear them with shorts as well so they tend to go with a lot with a lot of different things um, and they're really comfortable but I can't wear these for too long or walk too far in them because they're not really sort of designed to walk too far in but they are actually quite comfortable okay my next pair of shoes is a sh pair of shoes that I've never really worn because I lost these ones I lost one of them when I moved and I always just had one for ages um, they're a little bit squashed, but these are ones that I got from River Island. Um, and these are some pink leather, sort of like, kind of like brogue, but not. Um, these ones, I like them because they're made in India. And they're sort of like a dusky kind of pink colour. They're really nice to wear in the summertime, but they're also quite classy as well. Um, and I just like these ones again because they looked really different. Okay, my next pair of shoes is a 
pair of sandals that I actually got from Primark. I think I got these ones um, last year or the year before maybe. And these ones are real, actually real leather. They're really pretty. I've seen these quite expensive now on eBay because I don't do them anymore. Um, and these were really cheap obviously because they were in Primark. And they're just sort of nice to have in the summertime because usually with sandals they don't last very long. So most of the time after the summer you usually sort of get rid of them if they're kind of a bit flimsy like these ones. So that's why I would mostly buy things like that from Primark because they're not too expensive. Okay, my next pair of shoes are one of my all time favourite shoes and these uh so bright and colourful kind of a bit like converse but not and i got the extra laces as well i picked those laces for them and these actually i got when i was 16 or 17 and i got these ones from singapore and these are actually a japanese shoe um this is a smaller size i don't actually know what the size is because it's in japanese um, but I really like them because I absolutely love the colour and I love bright things and I've had these for a long time and they're really just really cute and nice and colourful okay. um, also I have um, these heels these are some heels that I got from Miss Selfridge last year and I actually wore these to my sister's wedding last September and if you look quite close you can't see it on camera but it's sort of a creamy but they're also sort of like they go into different colours you know sort of a bit like you can see the sparkly effect and the a really nice fabric as well I think it's sort of like suede but not and these are just really classic heels. Um, I think I did have some black ones, but I got rid of those because they were too high. I never really wore them. Um, but I don't really have many of these shoes. I also have a pair of orange shoes like this as well, which I got a few years ago. Okay, my next shoe is a pair of wedges, which is really good for someone short like me. These are real lightweight. These are also from Miss Selfridge. And I like how it's a zip at the side. Um, they're a good height as well. And they're really lightweight, so they're really nice. They're not, really, they're not heavy, not as heavy as they look. So they're quite a classic. And they could go with a lot of different outfits as well. Okay, and my last... Actually, I've forgotten one. But my last pair these Jeffrey Campbell shoes um, and actually I bought these from Style Susie last year this is my most expensive pair of shoes and the wedge is really high I have to say that these are the most difficult shoes to walk in because they're really high um, but I like how it has the material on there and how just different again they are these are American um, but I'm thinking of selling these ones actually on eBay if I can. Um, okay, so that's the end of my video now. Thank you for watching.